Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. In today's video, this is part four of an ongoing series, and we are just discussing current items that are making me a ton of gold with the current kind of auction house situation. With the semi-recent change of the auction house merge, 9.2.7, Season 4 and even Shadowlands coming to an end, gold making is shifting. Things are winding down and a lot of things that people looked to to make gold might possibly be making them less or even none at all. So the goal of this series is to give you some ideas to hopefully raise your amount of gold you're making per day. Now, like I said, this is episode four, and specifically, I am focusing on old world items that are selling very fast and for a high amount of profit. But as I always say, please check back and please watch the first three episodes. I make sure not to duplicate items, so this being the fourth episode, I already have 15 items uploaded that you can go check out and add to your arsenal as well. Of course, you can do that before or after this video, as this will give you another 5 for a total of 20 items. But that's enough talking, let's get right into this video. As always, if you appreciate this content, if you find anything slightly helpful, leaving a like on this video would be awesome, and even subscribing would be awesome as well. If you just subscribed, here's a cute photo of a really cute dog. So, like I said before, all five of these items are going to be old world items, basically non-Shadowlands items that are selling very well. Three of them are commodities, two of them are non-commodities, meaning three of them are region-wide, while two of them are still server-wide, and I don't cancel scan any of them. So, I will be talking about profit and sales in this video. Keep in mind, I don't cancel scan a thing. So this should give you an idea on how much I am making without cancel scanning. That will be awesome for some of you, as a lot of people don't like auction house PvP. Or just keep in mind that you could possibly make a ton more if you do, in fact, cancel scan. But here we go, here's the first item. And we have glove reinforcements. This comes from Outland Leatherworking, and it is just a simple trainer learned recipe. So make your way to Satra City, level up your Outland Leatherworking, and you'll learn these glove reinforcements. Generally, they are pretty cheap, and this is a commodity, meaning that it has a pretty fast sell rate because you're, you know, selling to the whole region. And currently, I can make about 20 to 25 gold profit per reinforcement. Currently, I can sell two to four glove reinforcements every two-ish days. So nothing spectacular, however, once again, keep in mind I'm not cancel scanning. Now I want to try to make sure to include the reasoning behind these items, and this glove reinforcement is a recommended enchant for time walking gear as well as twinks. So that is the reason why it sells, and it sells pretty well. Moving on, we have a slightly more complicated, however great, item, and this is the Scrap Bot Construction Kit. You possibly have heard of this name before, but this comes from Northrend Engineering. Now, the reason why I say this is a little bit more complicated is because it requires a simple quest to actually get the recipe. What you will need to do is either buy or make five overcharged capacitors, and four handfuls of cobalt bolts. Then you will have to make your way to Storm Peaks, which is a zone in Northrend. I will leave the cords on the screen. And then you will have to kill the Library Guardians. Eventually, they're going to drop a quest item, which you go turn in to Scrappy, and they will give you another quest, which you click on the console, and it will give you the Scrap Bot recipe. Now, I will straight up say, if you only want to take one of this item and only listen to one part of this video, you know, ignore all four items, only take one, this should be the item you take. In the past seven days, yet again, I'm just highlighting this, no cancel scanning, I have sold 330 in the past week. On average, right now, I can make about 50 gold profit each, so 50 times 330, I have made 16.5 thousand gold, 
in the past week by simply just posting this every 24 hours. I bet you could double or even triple that amount if you consistently cancel scan. Now the reason behind this item and the reason why it sells is because it is a utility item. Think about auto hammers, think about gun shoes, it is just like that. But if you could only take one item off this list, please go get this scrap bot. Moving on, we have a non-commodity to mix up the list, however, it is still an engineering item, and this is the Ghost Iron Dragon Link. Now this is a trinket, however, it has a lot of socket spots, so it is very good for twinks and all of that. Another great thing about this item is that it is just a trainer learned recipe, just like the glove reinforcements. So go to Pandaland, pick up your engineering, level it up, and you'll gain this recipe. Now, like I mentioned before, this is a non-commodity, meaning that the prices and the, you know, sell rate is going to depend on your server, as a medium pop may have a higher price, but it might sell slower compared to a full pop. You just never know. Some people may think this is a great thing, and some people may not prefer it. However, on the NA region, it has a 0.07 sale rate. And if you have ever sold Old World gear, Old World transmog, whatever it is, 0.07 for a piece of gear is really, really great. Now, on my personal server, which is an NA medium pop, I can make about 2,700 gold per Dragon Lane. And if you're on the NA region, you should be able to get something around there as well. My server is only about 300 gold over the region average, so if you hover around that region average, you're still making over 2,000 gold profit by just simply selling this item. I highly recommend it, it's a slower seller, however, it does pretty good consistently, and it can be great to just add to your collection. Now the fourth item, I swear the fifth item, we will change it up, but for the fourth item, we have another engineering piece. And this is the Advanced Target Dummy, which just comes from simple vanilla engineering. Like the previous items, this is also a trainer learned recipe. So all you have to do is go to Org or Stormwind, learn engineering, level it up, and you will gain this recipe. Now, like the scrap bot as well as the glove reinforcements, this is another commodity. So this is shared throughout the region, and currently compared to the DB region sold per day, about 108 of these sell every single day. It has a 0.13 sale rate, so nothing crazy for a commodity, however, there are some Shadowlands potions that are below that, and a lot of the decent Shadowlands potions have a 0.15, so generally this is actually pretty good. Now normally you can make about 50 gold profit, Per item, however, in the past day, it has crashed down to about 25. Hopefully this recovers, but if not, 25 gold profit per item is still pretty good. Definitely for a commodity. This is just another utility item, and fun fact, you know, we will be selling these. However, if you're left with extra and you don't plan on selling it, if you use the item and destroy it, you may get some recipe materials back. Just an FYI, but Definitely make sure you sell the item before trying to break them down. And we are down to our final recipe. And you guys know this cannot be a penguin video unless I talk about enchanting. Even in a region-wired auction house, I can somehow fit old world enchanting in here. And I am talking about the Tome of Illusions. Now this is not a new piece of enchanting, and this is not a very uncommon way of making gold with enchanting. However, I just want to stress how good these items are. Now, the reason why these are actually doing so well is because they are non-commodities. These items do not stack, so these are still server side. So on a lot of servers, personally on mine, I can sell these for 1,500 to even 4,000 gold profit per tome. Now, in terms of how to get them, most of these come from the trainer. There's basically one Tome of Illusions for every sort of expansion. 
So if you want the Northrend Tome of the Illusion, you need to go level up your Wrath Enchanting, and eventually you'll get that recipe. However, there are three different tomes that have a special way of getting them that I just want to highlight right here. First of all, there is the Tome of Illusions, Elemental Lords, and this comes from completing a quest called Controlling the Elements. Basically, you have to go kill three different bosses and gain these three items, but you also have to be revered with a special faction. Thankfully to a wowhead comment, somebody has figured out how to do this in a single day, which I will leave on screen. However, if you want this item, you do have to do a little bit of rep grinding. The next special tome is the Draenor one. Now technically this is still very easy, it just comes from a vendor, but you have to create one of those Secret of Draenor enchanting books in order to trade it for the Tome of Illusion pattern. So just in case you level up your Draenor engineering, you don't see it, you have to go to the vendor, trade in one of those daily cooldown books in order to get the recipe. Then lastly, you have the Secrets of the Shadow Pan, Tome of Illusion, and this just comes from Revered with the Shadow Pan. So if your enchanter has Pandaren reputation, perfect. If not, you may choose to grind that out if you want that specific tome. But yes, those are the special ones to collect, and I recommend trying to collect as many as possible. These are all cosmetic items, so a lot of people want them to help them with their transmog, etc. I'll make sure to put some pictures on screen, but the best thing about these is that a lot of people buy them in bulk. Whether they are just trying to fill out their transmog collection, whatever it may be, a lot of people will buy, you know, three or four or even all of them at once to complete their collection. So please try to gather as many as possible, and that is basically it. Hopefully you will be able to learn at least one of these five items on this list and make some pretty solid gold. Keep in mind, these things might not sell every single day. It really depends on the, you know, types of buyers that day. It depends on when you post, how often you cancel scan, and all of that. So don't get discouraged if things aren't working out exactly, because you never know the next day they could all sell out. You never know what's going to happen. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And if you have any other suggestions, let me know. As always, if you guys want to join our amazing community and the best way to contact me is through our Discord channel. So feel free to join that if you want to discuss gold making, flex your current gold sales, or just hang out and have an awesome time. But everybody, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.